What is going on guys? It is the complete forward here and today I'm gonna to be doing an experiment recently reports have said from Metro other sources maybe not really reliable but it kind of makes sense to me that Diego Simeone would be going to Chelsea as the permanent manager taking Gus hitting spot so um, we're gonna be seeing how this translate within the game you know there's already reports that he signed a four-year 28 million pound deal or whatnot but hey it's a Metro so don't believe that but yeah I mean I could see this happening um you know Diego Simeone has the ego to manage Chelsea and it just seems like something that would happen in real life. So we're going to go ahead and simulate a couple seasons and see how he gets on as Chelsea manager, uh, who he signs, you know, if he wins the league and whatnot. So I'll see you guys when I go ahead and go on holiday. All right. So as you guys can see, his job is not insecure. I simulated a season so far and we're going to go ahead and see if he won the league or not. Uh, OK, so I think I'm just going to click on Chelsea here since I saw it. Um yeah, let's see what happens here. Okay, first in the Premier League. So, Diego Simeone has won the league within a season at Chelsea. I mean, what is there to really check? He's already run the league. He's completed. Maybe can he win the Champions League? I mean, let's see. He wins it on 89 points, five ahead of uh, Manchester City, Arsenal, Manchester United, and Man City get top four. Pretty typical. It looks kind of like last season. I mean, if you switch around the little second, third, and fourth. Uh, spots, but hey, um, that's crazy. Diego Costa ends up getting uh, top goal scorer, so we're gonna go ahead and check on the players that he used the most. Let's go ahead and see. All right, so it looks like Eden Hazard and TB Courtois. Eden Hazard getting a uh, goalkeeper types uh, caps for Diego Simeone. That's pretty good for Eden Hazard. Um, 14 goals for him. Not, not. Mm, I mean, he could do better with that many uh, appearances, but you have Diego Costa scoring 31 goals this season with Falcao as the backup. Um, Falcao, Atletico Madrid uh, native, where Diego Simeone comes from. So this should be interesting. Um, Lloyd Remy, 15 goals. Eden Hazard. So these are the top four goal scorers here. Um, Pedro putting in some work. Uh, so let's see, top five appearances. So we have Eden Hazard, Courtois, Fabregas, Nemanja Matic, and Cesar Azpilicueta playing a key role for um, Diego Simeone. Of course, Diego Costa as well. But um, yeah, um, that's pretty, I guess that's all right. I mean, I've seen better stats for a title winning side. It looks like it was more defensive orientated. Uh, let's see about the last five games. Yeah, as you see, John Terry has like an eight point. <laughs> let's see the actually average ratings. Yeah, John John Terry's up there. Uh, as for Quetta. so as you can see, their defense played a key part for them. Let's go ahead and look at some of his transfers. Uh, so first off, he sold. Well, he loaned out Ruben Loftus Cheek. Kind of disappointing, disappointing because he is a uh, top talent in real life. At least I don't know. Sure, FM um, English FA Cup. They were knocked out by Cardiff. That's pretty disappointing. Falcao was one goal in that competition. Oscar had the best average rating. Um, they're runner up to Arsenal. So the FA Cup got won by Arsenal and they're running up to Arsenal again. Arsenal having a trophied out season even though they finished fourth. Uh, that's pretty disappointing for the side that I do support. But let's see. Um, yeah, they got knocked out of Community uh, Shield by Arsenal, just like in real life. Um, the Capital One Cup, they were knocked out in the third round by Aston Villa. And it was won by United. And the Champions League, they end up winning the Champions League. Oh my goodness. Wow. What a turnout for Chelsea. That was very surprising. Falcao coming big along with Diego Costa. 15 goals combined in the competition. Oh, my goodness. They, they nick a 1-0 off of Barcelona. Diego Simeone has... Oh, my gosh. This is... Okay, this made me happy. Um, okay. We're going to look at the group stages, who they drew in the groups. And, um, yeah, I guess we can end this experiment here. I mean... He's already accomplished everything really that really matters. The FA Cup, uh, I guess he can get that. It, it doesn't really matter though. Uh, he barely he lost two in the group stage. That's pretty disappointing. Uh, he lost to Roma and uh, Valencia. And let's see what else does he do in the knockout rounds. He goes ahead. And he draws. Where is it? Uh, he draws AS Monaco and he takes them out on a four-two aggregate lead. Uh, quarterfinals, he draws Manchester United. He takes them out, taking out a fellow English club. 
Uh, Man City get Barcelona and they get knocked out in a 4-2. Um, Chelsea draw Bayern and they knock them out in a 5-1 aggregate lead and to go ahead and take down Barcelona. That has been the ultimate end to this episode, guys. Uh, the Champions League has been won by Diego Simeone. It's, wow. I cannot, I'm shocked, to be honest. I'm just shocked. But yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this experiment, please leave a like down below. Let me know any suggestions you have for future experiments. It has been Complete Forward, and I'm out. Peace.